Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos on lesson content. Got no place to be. Got no place to go. Come hang out with me on the Mr. Flanders Show. Good morning, ladies and gents. Mr. Flanders here, uh, recording another lovely video for you at my kitchen table while my son is sleeping in his nursery. Uh, and if you've been following some of these recordings, um, you might hear some uh, light snoring in the background. Uh, that is not me. That is not even my baby who is sleeping. That is my giant dog, Chewy. He sounds like a trash compactor while he is sleeping, and I apologize for that. If you have not been able to hear him, though, fantastic. And then I take back my apology. Um, otherwise, uh, without worrying about snoring dogs and all of that stuff, I would like to talk to you about our next Reading Mastery story, which is our first story for the week. We are looking at story 76, Sam Gets a Kite Kit. Now, before we get started on this, a couple of reminders. First off, I am reading this story to you now, but the expectation is you are also practicing reading the story on your own at home. Um, there is a copy of the story in your paper packet as well as in the Google Classroom. So you should be practicing this with a parent, a sibling, a grandma, grandpa, whoever is at home with you. Uh, and with that, I also want to remind you guys of a couple of the sounds. Uh, for example, if you run into a letter that has a line over it, that means it is making that letter sound. So instead of this E sounding like E, eh, it would sound like E, okay? Don't forget about your blending sounds as well. The TH here makes the th, th sound, th, at, that, okay? Um, other than that, we can go ahead and get started. We are going to look at Sam Gets a Kite Kit. Sam liked to make things. He liked to make toy cars. So he went to the store and got a toy car kit. His mom said, that kit has the parts of a car. You have to read and find out how to fit the parts so that they make a car. Sam said, I will do that. Very good for you, Sam. So Sam began to read the paper that came with the car kit. Then he began to fit the parts to make a car. Soon he had a toy car. His mom said, that is a fine car. You are good at reading and at making things. Sam did not like to make the same thing again. He said, I will not make other cars. I will make something else. So he went to the store and got a kite kit. When he got home, he showed his mom the kite kit. His mom said, that kit has a lot of parts in it. You will have to read the paper that comes with the kit to find out how to make the kite. Sam looked inside the kit. Then he said, what paper? There is no paper in this kit. Sam's mom said, that is too bad. How will you make the kite? if there is no paper in the kit. Sam said, I will go back to the store and get a paper that tells how to make kite from these parts. When Sam got to the store, the man in the store said, I don't have other papers that tell how to make kites. 
Sam asked. How can I make a kite if I don't have the paper? The man said, you will have to do the best you can. Sam was not happy. He went home and looked at all the parts in the kite kit. More to come. Oh man, look right here. You can see the giant mess that Sam has. How's he going to put all this together? Ugh, crazy. I guess we'll have to find out more in the next story. For now, though, let's go ahead and jump into our worksheet that goes with this story. All right. Here we go. Worksheet 76, side 1. Do not forget to put your name if you are working on this at home. If you are doing this in Google Classroom, do not worry about it. All right, number one. <clears throat> Who made a toy car from a car kit? I'm gonna give you guys a hint. The person's name is in the title of the story. Number two. Who said you are good at reading and at making things? His blank. Now remember, you're writing your answers on these areas. And if you're doing this in Google Classroom, you should have a blue box right there that you can write your answer in. Number three. What kit did Sam get after he made a car? A blank. Did he get a car kit? Did he get a cat kit? A kite kit? Or a log kit? What kind of a kit did he get? Number four. What was missing from the kit? A paper? A kite part? A car part? Or just a kit? You tell me, guys, what was missing from the kit? Number five. Where did Sam go to get a paper? He went to the lake? To the store? He went because he needed it? And told him. Hmm. Okay, so some of these choices don't even make any sense. Um, make sure you are circling the right answer if you're doing this uh, on a paper packet, and you are writing it here, please. Also, if you are doing this along with me and I'm going too fast, please do not forget you can pause the video. I will not be offended. Number six. Did the man at the store have another paper? That sounds like just a yes or no question to me. Let's go ahead, get those questions done. And while you're doing that, I'm going to move this up a little bit. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, go, go. All right. As you're finishing that area up, I'm going to move on down to this bottom area. Like I said, you can pause the video at any time. I'm going to go ahead and read this sentence right here. Tim went to the park. Okay. For this area here, we're going to have to follow the instructions that are listed in 1, 2, and 3. If you're doing this in Google Classroom, you will notice that there are some shapes over in this area right here that you will use to circle, mark, make lines over. Everything is done for you. You just have to move them to the right spot. Okay. But if you're doing this at home, make sure you're paying attention to the instructions. Number one, circle the word that tells who went to the park. So circle who went to the park. Number two, make a line over the words that tell where Tim went. Okay, so you're just going to make a line over the words. That's multiple words, not just one word 
but make a line over the words that tell where Tim went. And then number three, make a line over the circle. So wherever you put the circle earlier, you're gonna to need to make a line over that circle. All right? As you're finishing that up, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this worksheet over. Okay. This is side two for worksheet 76. Let's go ahead and look at the top questions. Look at the picture on page 203 of your reader. Number one, is Sam reading a paper? Well, let's go ahead and pull this picture up real quick. Okay. Mm, what do you guys think? Is he reading a paper? You're either gonna write yes or no in this spot. Then in number two, do you see Sam's toy car? Let's look at the picture again. Do you see the toy car? I think this is going to be another yes or no question. Go ahead and finish that up. And as you're doing that, we're going to move on to this last paragraph right here and answer the last couple of questions of this worksheet and of this lesson. Bob got a kit for making a toy duck. The kit had a lot of parts. Bob worked hard. At last, he said, that duck looks real. The duck ate a hole in the wall. Then he ate some grass. The duck went to the pond and swam away. Okay. Number one, who got a kit for making a toy duck? So go back through and read your story if you need to. I'm gonna tell you the answer for number one is in this first sentence right here, okay? Number two, the duck ate a hole in the blank. Think about what the duck did. What did he eat a hole into? Mm -hmm. Number three. Then he ate some blank. What did the duck eat more of? And then number four, and our last question. Where did he go for a swim? All right, I'm going to tell you that answer is in the last sentence of our worksheet, okay? Where did he go for a swim? All right, guys. Well, I'm going to wrap it up over on this end. That is the end of Lesson 76. Make sure you're practicing your reading at home. Uh, read this story to mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, brother, sister, whoever is at home with you. And I will catch you guys over in lesson 77. See you in a bit.